my work has always fallen onto a kind of boundary between comparative politics and political economy. And from my earliest work till today, there has always been the same puzzle that has fascinated me. And that's how people define their own interests. MIT constantly pushes you or allows you uh, to somehow extend your inquiry across departmental boundaries. Let me give you an example, which was a study uh, carried out with six colleagues from other departments at MIT on how companies uh, react, respond to globalization. What we discovered is that no matter which set of firms we looked at, those companies have entirely different strategies about outsourcing, offshoring, investment in research, investment in uh, the uh, qualifications of their, of their workers. So I think that so much of what people believe is inevitable in how we need to respond to global pressures, a lot of that isn't really inevitable. We really had the possibility through politics of making big choices. Being at MIT kind of constantly focuses you on, you know, why does this matter? Uh, I'm interested in X. Why does it matter? Why should anyone care? I mean, at, at MIT, I think you just never can think of a problem without hearing that voice in your head.